Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Okay, today we're going to do word problems. All right. Uh, we're going to revise some of the word problems. So print out the worksheet. Print out the worksheets before you start doing the work. Before you start uh, listening to the video. And if you don't have a printer, it's okay. You can just uh, copy the questions and write the answers. I want you to copy the word problem questions because uh, uh, if you don't copy the questions, you won't know what is the method of doing the work. Okay. So those of you who don't have the printers, for the word problems, please copy the questions. They are not too many. It's just four. So you need to copy the questions and you need to do the answers as I show on the board. Okay. So I'm going to read the first word problem, number one on uh, review 10. It is, the capacity of a tank is 5000 ml. There is 1,670 1, ml of water in it. How much more water must be added to fill the tank completely? Alright, so the capacity is 5000, alright. There is 1,670 ml of water in the tank. How much more water must be added to fill up the tank completely? Okay, so you need to draw the lines for the steps. Okay, so I'm just going to draw the lines. Even in the paper, you need to draw the lines. Okay. If if it's in your uh, worksheet, you please draw the lines and then do the steps. For the statement, you already have the line. So you have to just draw for the steps. Okay. So step one will be to find out how much. So 5000 ml minus 1670 ml. Now, children, please remember to write the unit of measurement. You must write the ml because sometimes you are missing. So make sure you are writing it. Okay? So 5000 minus 1670. You minus 
All right, so I'm just going to do A first. All right, so I'm going to read number two first. The mass of John's school bag is 2,170 grams. Paul's school bag is 480 grams. Heavier than John's bag. A. What is the mass of Paul's bag? Okay. So now for this, if, if you want, you can draw a model if you don't understand it. But if you don't, um, if you're okay, you can even draw do it without a model. Okay. So I'm just going to do it without a model. But if you guys uh, want to draw a model, you can draw. Okay. So John's bag is 2150. Paul's bag is 480 grams heavier than John's. Okay, so we have to find out what is Paul's bag and it's A. So that will be adding 2150 grams plus 480 grams because it is heavier. Okay, because Paul's bag is 480 grams heavier than John's bag. Now, um, maybe I, okay, all right. So, I'm going to add So, it is 2,630 grams. Now the statement for this you can write at the bottom, okay? Before that, I'm going to do B. What is the total mass of both the bags? So now, Paul's bag, John's bag is 2,150 grams. Paul's bag is 2,630 grams. Okay, so the total mass, we need to know what's the total mass of both the bags. So statement for A, what is the mass of Paul's bag? The mass of Paul's bag is 2630 and statement for B what is the total mass of both the bags write the unit of uh, measurement okay make sure you write it everywhere okay so this is the way you can do the two sums those of you who are doing in the book you copy the sum and then you do the working okay you copy the sum and then you do the working 